see if we can get this ball rolling real quick. Let's do another test. I'm live now. Okay, good. And now it's showing that I went live immediately. See? See, but yesterday's stream, or no, not yesterday. I think the stream before, it, it didn't even show that I was live for like a good two minutes or something like that, so. Uh, whatever. All right. Well, looks like we're live now, so. Yep, and people are pulling up 30 seconds in. Okay, good. Good, good, good. What's everybody? Hello, everybody. What's up? Ray, Dark Warrior, Smack Kyle, Zeke, what's up? Welcome in. I'm down for this real quick. Down for it real quick, too, man. What the dog doing? You mean like me or like like my dog? <laughs> uh, she's laying down right next. She's actually right next to me. They're all right next to me, actually. Well, Kratos is in the other room. He has his food, so he's like, uh, yeah. Uh, stream blocked me from commenting for a second. Oh, bro. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Well, that's, that's weird. Al Gundam, what's up? What up, Bori? How you doing, man? How many of you guys are on spring break? I feel like a lot of my audience is over the age of 20, I, I imagine. So, how's my mental? Uh, I guess I can't complain. It could always be better, though, you know? Weekdays a break? Gotcha, man. Sounds good. What up, Prime? What's good in the hoodie? Time to examine 18's boobies. And yeah, I was just seeing the Goonies. <laughs> Is there some jiggle physics in the game, I guess? Yeah, yeah. I don't have a lot of time, so I, I didn't... Um, I, I'm sorry. I completely forgot that I was supposed to stream yesterday. <laughs> so that's my bad. And then here I am today. I, I just... But I can't stay here for long, so... Um... I got a couple th I have to step out after the stream for a little bit. For maybe like an hour or something like that. Half hour. Uh, so I don't have a lot of time. So I didn't want to just say, oh, I'll stream tomorrow. So I figured I would stream today. And then what's today? Today's Wednesday? Yeah, and then I'll, we'll probably be back. I, I think I'm going to come back tomorrow. I don't think I'm going to do anything uh, anime manga related. I'm kind of itching. T I, I've been feeling a little based lately. So I might do some something else tomorrow. Uh, probably some reaction based content, but I think, I don't know. I might want to, um, yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how I feel tomorrow. Cause I'm feeling like that today. I just don't have the time to do it. So if I'm still feeling kind of based tomorrow, then maybe we'll, uh, you know, maybe you'll get some based Emish tomorrow. So Emish is yapping again. Always. What up Venom? How you been, man? I haven't seen you in, I don't think I've seen you in quite some time. I'm definitely gonna buy the game. It looks pretty, pretty kind of what? Political stream? Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Uh, something like that over here. Maybe some, uh, maybe some some Destiny content too. This, this, I've been. Uh, some of you guys have been asking. I, I mean, you guys asked me a while back to check out some fresh and fit kind of shenanigans. So I might want to do something like that, but something where Destiny was on board with it as well. So. Maybe some, uh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. It is it is kind of risky to do some, um, anything with specific kind of, uh, political positions, I suppose. Which, to me, they shouldn't even be political positions to begin with, right? Like, it's just a matter of lifestyle and preference, really. Which used to be what politics were about. Uh, but now it's much deeper than just lifestyle and preference in terms of direction of whatever. Um, at least direction of your own household, right? Like, that's that's what politics used to be. You would vote for what you want for, your, for you, for your family, for what you feel is best for your family. And the direction of how, like, you know, the state and, and the direction of the country, essentially, right? Like, uh, it's so much more deeper now. But anyway, that that aside. Um, that aside. Yeah, so uh, we, got a, we got some gameplay for BT4 or Sparking Zero or something like that. And I don't, uh, I didn't get a chance to watch it. And I know it came out like a few days ago, so I'm I'm pretty late. I'm pretty late on this, but you guys already know I never really cared for the game to begin with. But that doesn't mean that I wouldn't. That doesn't mean that I shouldn't like cover it to some degree. Um, 
So I'm not going to sit here and pretend to know everything about the game, to know the, uh, you know everything about the game's history, blah, blah, blah. I, quite frankly, I don't give a shit. I just want to know if the game is good or not. That's it. I don't care. So that's why I'm late, uh, and that's why we're here today, actually. So we're probably going to go through it. Um, I do understand the game is still in the works. So bear with me if you guys hear me criticizing certain aspects of like the visual aesthetics of the game again i'm going to react to what i'm seeing i'm not just going to be like no it's a surely they'll improve this right like i i don't i don't know that for certain so uh save your you know save yourself the trouble of calling me retarded because one i already know that uh and two um again i'm just going to be reacting to what i'm seeing okay so it was all a dream <laughs> uh let me, uh, Sparking Zero trailer. I guess gameplay? Is it a trailer? I, it looked like a trailer, right? No, well, it had to have been a gameplay thing, right? Okay. So, this was it. It was seven days. It was a week ago. Wow. It was this one. I'm just about to get locked in on the grass again. I think it was a valid criticism, man. It was. And I wasn't the only one to say it. So, it was definitely something that caught my eye that you know I, I find myself focusing on the grass more than the actual characters fighting which should never happen either a it should all mesh together or or it, I, I don't think one thing should ever stand out more than the other um with the exception being the characters themselves so the trailer was fine it looked like it should okay that's fine i mean i'll see you know we'll see when i when i when i get to it uh we'll give people like another one or two minutes and then we'll get started right away i don't want to keep you guys waiting um so, but yeah, this time it's going to be cliffs and rocks. We'll see. We'll see. We will see. The Japanese dub, homie, the audio ain't butch like the English dub. Are they, are we actually getting uh, a, a Japanese dub for it? We should, because the English dub is, is horrible. Honestly, they should just remove it from the game. They really should. Like, look at it from this perspective. If it's me, and I'm in charge of Bandai and this whole division or whatever the fuck, and then I receive the the clips of the English dub voice actors voice acting that way, I am going to reject it, send it back, and I'm going to write them a letter. And I'm going to say either A, you give me something good to work with, or we're not, we're, we're going to release this game without an English dub. It's that simple. Because you and you know how you, and you know I you know why I would do that and how I you know why I know it would work because it's a Dragon Ball game and Dragon Ball fans will buy this shit regardless they don't give a fuck if the English dub is not there. Some people might pretend to care that oh mean Emish the Bandai fucking CEO whoever the fuck is being mean to the English dub voice actors because he's like anti whatever the fuck he's a transphobe some some garbage like that right and I'm just gonna go tell them to go fuck themselves and then moving forward I'm just not gonna have them in the fucking games at the end of the day they need the work more than I need them so <laughs> that, that's my perception of it um that's what I would do Oh, yeah. Yo, Nara go with the 199 super chat. Got hit by lightning, huh? Fuck you, uh, but Emish isn't like that on purpose. It's supposed to be like the old games. Copium. Well, that's 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 a silly take, I think, Rico. Thank you, thank you, Nara Nara Kuramaki with the 199 super chat. My only issue was a point during a combo the camera moved a little weird instead of being static. It could just be a bug issue. That, that's probably something that... Again, see, you see, stuff like that is stuff that you could... you. It's safe to assume they will fix, right? So, again. But it definitely is worth bringing it up. Like, you, you are correct, Danny. Um, we are in modern times. We need better if they... Yeah, I mean, sure. I'm sure they'll have a setting to switch languages. Yeah, yeah. That's fine, too. But... I, I was giving you a hypothetical like if I were in charge. I just wouldn't put it in the game. What do you mean switch languages? The dub itself, your native language, should feel good to listen to. It's point, point blank, period. Like, being able to switch languages is a feature. It's an option. You know, you understand that? But your your your, your native language should be something that's worth listening to. You shouldn't feel compelled to be like, 
this is terrible. I gotta switch the language. You know? So, I think if, if, uh, the, the hypothetical I was, I was giving you guys was me assuming the position of having a standard for my native speaking audience, you know, you know what I mean? For native speaking fans of the English language to kind of enjoy not only what they're seeing, but what they're hearing. It, it's just, you know, that's, that's my position on the matter. So we'll see though. We'll see. Uh, it could be excused so they could say we have the OG voice sounds and they just don't want to add good voice acting. Well then, uh, why are, then why are these guys... Yeah, th that's exactly why I would just remove the fucking option. What, what do you mean? Because by that logic, then they shouldn't even re-release, they shouldn't make a new game then. They should just take BT3 and remaster it. This shouldn't even be, you know what I mean? So if you accept that this is BT4, then everything should be new. Why are you just, why, why would we just sit here and limit it to like, oh, you know, they could just totally reuse the old clips again. No, fuck you, bitch. What the fuck? <laughs> so. Yeah, I mean, you know, like, why even? Yeah. So, that's, that's, that's all I'm saying. I'm not trying to make a big deal about the voice acting, but it is, it is worth mentioning that it was terrible. The last uh, trailer that I saw, it was absolute, I can't even say dog water. I, I, I can't even... You know, I, I can't even say that. It was really bad. So, this is from last week. I, I didn't react to it and I didn't see it. So, I'm going to see it. I'm going to watch it right now. But that being said, I think we're ready. I think we're ready. Let me get my headphones on. I'll probably turn off the music real quick. Uh, Shouts to Unreal for the music again, by the way. Um, and then let me just turn this off. Okay. Uh, this is what we're watching. It's 12, a little close to 13 minutes of content. So. All right, well, let's see what we got. I said outload, and then you get, is that even, I don't know what you're talking about. All right, let's, let's check it out. I gotta do a sound test, I guess, first, huh? Hold on. Was that loud enough? I, whatever, it's, you guys have seen the trailer, but who cares? All right, let's check it out. This looks good. Vegeta's voice acting, I mean, the final flash part is substantially better than the Kamehameha. Yeah, it looks, uh, it looks better than what I remember. Then again, they're fighting in a, a desert landscape, though, like a rocky mountain area landscape. So I want to see the whole grass thing. But the actual cliffs look good, though. Let me see this again, hold on. Like, that's cool. And I think they did similar marketing with this, with the Broly movie as well. Like, the whole, like, style of this, like the, the text and stuff. I'm pretty sure it was similar to the Broly movie. That's, that's not I mean. Okay. Tremble before my power! I'll show you the horrors of hell. Now perish alone with this planet! Um, if I had to say anything so far, I would say the... There's a lot of, I don't know, I guess we can call it like screen tearing or something like that. Uh, again, hopefully they it's more optimized later on, but it doesn't feel like it's like true 60 FPS or something like that, you know? Like... It, you have to, I don't know how to explain it, but hopefully you guys get what I'm trying to say. I think at this stage, uh, at this stage of the game, for this gameplay so far, it doesn't really look like it's 60 FPS or anything. And I have the settings there, so that, uh, that, that would be my criticism so far because I hope, and I hope they capture that really well because it, it's important to be able to kind of like, for the movements and when you're swinging characters around, like in the instance with Broly here, 
So, well, let me comment on Frieza, actually. This is good, I guess. This is actually pretty good. But as far as, like, you know, how Broly was swinging Goku or whoever the fuck around, it was really choppy there. Like, it actually turns to mush. So I hope, again, the game is optimized. Which is something, nowadays, optimization on games is... Uh, something that's a very, like, common occurrence now. Like, the lack of optimization. So, hopefully that's improved. Like, you see how, like, it's like, that's, see how I pause it? Like, that's cool, right? Because that's like, that's like a still frame. But like, as it's, as they're fighting and the camera angles are changing, it looks choppy. It doesn't look smooth at all. So, visually, there is an improvement though. Like, visually, it does look better, but it's just the fluidity is not there for, for the game yet. Um, and I hope we get an updated trailer soon. This is old footage. I don't care. It's new to me. I'm, I'm commenting on what I'm seeing. Uh, but... And if, if if it improves later, then I will say sure. Okay, there it is. It, but then my see now here's the problem now with you guys. Here's my issue with you guys telling me this in chat. My retort is why is this old footage in there? Why is old footage, unoptimized footage in 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 the most recent gameplay thing? You know what I mean? Like that's my issue now. But anyway, let, let's continue. It could just be like bad marketing, but whatever. Let's continue then. Yeah, like, you see this? Like it's all over the place. Break the heavens, okay. Alright. That's cool. Alright, let's see. Maybe they want to show you the changes. Okay, well, we'll keep watching. I don't know. I'm j Again, I'm commenting what I'm seeing, guys, alright? Like, I, I get- Okay, it's old. I get it, fine. I don't give a fuck. I'm commenting on what I'm seeing. Hello, Oh shit! We have a person. Sparking Zero の main producer の古谷と申します。本日はよろしくお願いいたします。先ほど皆様に見ていただいたのは昨年12月のゲームアワードで正式発表されたドラゴンボールスパーキングゼロの初出トレーラーでした。今年の1月ドラゴンボールゲームズバトラワー2024では宿命のライバルである悟空とベジータにフォーカスしたトレーラーを公開しましたので。もし見逃された方がいましたらぜひともご確認いただけると幸いです、okay. たくさんのファンの皆様からの温かい声を聞いておりましたので改めてこの場をお借りして感謝申し上げます<笑>ドラゴンボールスパーキングゼロは単なる新作のゲームではなく欧米では武道会展開地として日本およびアジア地域ではスパーキングでおなじみのシリーズ最新作となっておりますそして本日はバトルシステムに関して he looks like the kind of character that you would see and like a, a, a like a like a hentai like a hentai protagonist that gets transported to a different world where he has to like bang a bunch of like different women to empower them with his semen with his seed he looks like that kind of character they have to save the world from the fucking demon king. And the only way they could do that is 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 by him, yeah. <laughs> is by him just banging a bunch of warrior chicks that get empowered, bro. Goku to Vegeta nyoru hageshi battle ezo o mite itada kereba to moimasu. Dozo. All right. Put my headphones on for this one. I will defeat you this day! Alright, that's from the Broly film. Oh, I won't be losing this one, Vegeta. What the fuck? Okay. Yeah, if I were playing this game, I'd probably turn off the screen shake option or hope, uh, assuming it's going to be like a in the settings, the screen blur, whatever the fuck, I'm turning that shit off. I don't like the whole like, yeah, I don't like some, yeah, I agree with you, Danny. The, the footage shows under development. Yeah, so I'm glad they put that there, but it's, it's, uh, that camera shit is not, I'm not vibing with that. It actually gets in the way of, of the combat, I think. Okay. 
Okay. What was that? I don't know. That's cool. Okay. So is Goku like staggered there or something? Or is that just like the player like, purposefully doing that so Vegeta can use the Gallic Gun or something like that? Okay, his shirt came off. Okay. Oh, okay, so he's... Okay, that was good. Do you want to see what I'm capable of? No hard feelings. Oh, that was uh when he fought Frieza in the anime, and then when Kale punched him in uh in base versus Super Saiyan God, they used those two friend those two uh, sequences. Okay, this isn't a criticism to this game; it's just a criticism to like this kind of play style. I I don't I'm not a fan of games where like Goku can be here, and then me as an opponent, I can be like completely over there. I just don't like that. <laughs> Again, it's not a criticism to this game specifically. It's just to me that shit is annoying. <laughs> so, um, I'm I'm old fashioned. I played like you know the horizontal fighting games, Soul Calibur, Tekken, you know shit like that, Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, blah blah. Um, so these kinds of like open arena style kind of games where it's like quote unquote open arena. But there's only so far you can go, and then you use a move, and then you're suddenly in front of the guy. It's like, eh, you know, whatever. I guess that's what turns me off about these kind of games, right? Like, I don't know. Wait, what was that? Okay, so you can counter it. Okay. Yeah, I was about to ask that too, so that's good. You see how, yeah, like, they just stand there and power up? I don't know. I, I guess that's just not my... I don't know about that, man. Like, you just stand there 30 seconds and just power up. You know? Okay. See, like, so, I, yeah, the camera is, get, is really getting in the way of a lot of the combat. Because the combat looks... It, it looks good, right? It doesn't look bad. It's just the camera sucks dick. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like trying to figure out how to, how to follow Goku, and it can't follow Goku. So... Yeah, like, it just went this way, then it panned over it, like, immediately. It's so distracting. I don't and I don't like this power up shit. Yeah, I don't like this power up shit. I think that's just that that's just a bad mechanic, man. I just don't like that. You should you should build more gauge through fighting. Like powering up should just be strictly for like, I don't know, like um I don't even know honestly. You should just be able to do that mid fight. Like let's say you clash with each other and you got and you can power up like your key that way. Then you guys do like this like you guys like jump backwards and then fire off a key blast that way or something like that. Like, make it like a cinematic event or something like that. I don't know. I just don't like this standing idle and just powering up for half an hour. Yeah, that's just me. I, I, to me, that's that... It it, it, it's, it distracts from the actual combat. It's not a part of combat at all. Um, Like, if Goku goes blue, he should just be at full power. Like, what the... I don't care about powering up for what? He should just build gauge through fighting. See, he just broke through the limit, and then he powered up again. Now he's gonna boost and fire up a combat amount. So you see what I'm saying? Like this should just this should just be a product of combat, not a product of standing there to power up, and, and then your opponent lets you power up. Now I disagree with this hard, 
I, I, I get it. A lot of people would disagree with me because simply because they're used to it, right? It's not a criticism of like the like this specific game. It's just a critique of this this style of combat, which I'm not a fan of. Um, again, I think you should build gauge through combat, not through standing idle and powering up. I think that's retarded. Anything that distracts the player from wanting to punch the other guy in the face is not a fighting game. It's just a bad design, I think. It, that's just me. I, I, it, it's not... Anyway, let's just continue. Okay. Now the... Now the background looks like the Broly thing when Gogeta and Broly fought. Where'd that come from? Vegeta lost. Oh, Goku won. Let's go again. Is that okay with you? The character models look good though. I will say that. The character models look really good. One of our goals was to preserve the essence of what made the Budokai Tenkaichi series so popular. Okay, well, what was it? An enjoyable, dynamic 3D action battle experience that deeply captures the elements of Dragon Ball. We kept battle systems such as Dragon Dash, which enables high speed movement, the iconic counter system that no that, that fans know and love. As well as the impact action, which allows intense fisticuffs or the exchange of energy blasts. We will also pay attention to the graphic aspects so that you can enjoy not only the challenge of the battles themselves, but also the fun of just watching battles. That's hard. It's hard to watch the battles, though. That's the problem so far. Ultimate この I don't care. I know some of you guys might. Just, oh, I'm just trying hard to hate the game. No, let me explain. Let me explain something. If you're if you're a competitive like, whether you're competitive or not, one of the most one of the most important things to understand about any fighting game that you play is the character's hitbox. So this tells me Goku's hitbox is here, but he's right here, which is insane. So that needs to be fixed, like ASAP. そして、シリーズとして大事にしている要素だけでなく、先作ならではの新要素もお伝えできればと思います。まず、先ほど基本的なメカニクスはシリーズからそのDNAを受け継いでいる胸をお伝えしましたが、ドラゴンボールアクション
Oh, but MS, they are building gauge through combat. Yeah, but the, the amount of gauge that they're building through combat versus like what they do when they're just idle is is, is so substantial that the game is basically teaching you to get the opponent away from you and then use any time spare time you can to just power up to charge gauge, which again, I, I just think you should generate most of your gauge from combat. ショートダッシュで相手の攻撃を and then Vegeta is beating up Goku, but his gauge is full, so he's no longer building gauge. So, you know what that tells you, right? It Like, I, I don't know. I just think that's just, that's not good. That's just not a good system. What do you do with it now? You have to, you, you have to expend it. Um. They should probably add more means to which you, you spend gauge. I know, I, I noticed earlier, like, Base Vegeta had an aura around him. I'm pretty sure that was spending gauge too while he was doing his combo. But I feel like, like you see how Vegeta's punching Goku here? I feel like you should be able to press another button while you're punching to kind of like have Vegeta's fist go glow blue with like his aura. And that itself uses gauge too. Like you should be able to do empowered versions of your combos so that the combos themselves hit harder, but they're slower, giving the opponent a time, a chance to react. And this creates a balance between balance uh, between gauge gaining and gauge spending, and it kind of makes the the battle feel more real and more dynamic, if anything. Um, but what do I know? I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm just, you know, uh, um, <laughs> let's just continue. Another action. This. Samazamana kogeki ni sonaite hangeki adekiru ate miyaza no shou mikiame dewa ichibu no kikou hakei no skill o mo hajiki tobasu koto ma. Uh, both can only be triggered when you have enough skill count. Oh, is this, is this the number here? Okay. Um, さらに瞬時に接近して吸収できる Pretty much every other game. So I guess if you're excited for it, I guess congratulations. But I don't, I'm not, so far, I'm not seeing anything like that's like, that makes the combat like, like, wow, you really want to, I don't know, maybe just the player, maybe the guys who are demonstrating the game suck at the game. I don't know, but. But I also wish to have captured the interest of the newcomers. I mean, so far, I mean, not me, to be honest. Uh, to the series who were looking for a flashy, impressive Dragon Ball 3D battle game. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. 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 Aspect I want to emphasize the characters, okay. やはりキャラクターは見逃せないかと思います。これまでの映像では新キャラクターや斎藤城キャラクターを多数紹介してきましたが、アニメドラゴンボールスーパーからもキャラクターが登場します。またこの後すぐに最新のキャラクター
Ultra Trunks are super dumb. Yes, bro. Okay, see, now, he, actually, let, let me watch this, and I want to bring up something that I hope one of you guys have an answer to. If not, then this is just another Dragon Ball game. Like you is nothing but prey to a warrior of love. Uh, you're my prey. How many ladies are all around me? I'm old, yes, but experienced. Founder of the Turtle School, creator of the sacred technique. Okay, so what's the difference between Dispo's high speed moves versus any other speed based move in the game? Like Vanishing Strike and all this, and Vanishing Assault, or whatever the fuck all these things are. Because if it's just visual, then why? Then who cares? They haven't explained yet. Okay. You don't think that displaying something like vanishing ass assault or vanishing strikes or something like that would have been better portrayed with someone like a high speed character? And do characters? Do characters have? I don't know what you mean. Well, yeah, because you because you guys play Dragon Ball games, so of course not. Literally nothing. Like <laughs> maybe they give him multiple. Okay, so maybe he builds skill bar faster. Like I hope different effects. No, I Dispo is actually faster. Okay, but Trunks is clearly still like. You know, I, I don't think you get what I'm saying. <laughs> they that little dash thing they did. I I noticed that too. But that's what I'm asking. Is it just a visual thing, or is, or is it like, do they? Will the characters have specific things that make them worth picking? It's an arena fighter. You're thinking too deep. Oh, then okay. So it's just like everything else. I'm thinking too deep because I play other fighting games that are good. <laughs> that's the problem. Yeah, like this is. It's a new generation of, of Dragon Ball fighting games, and it's just the same thing again. Super Trunks is power and kinetically slow. Yeah, yeah, of course. I'm not saying the only difference we know of is power-based character are slow, but here... No, that, yeah, see, I mean, that... For example, like, Great Ape, you're gonna be... You're, you're visually, you're gonna hit harder, but then, like, you're clearly gonna be slow, right? But, oh, Magazi, answer my question? Where is he? Uh, where is Magazi? Oh. I don't know what you mean. Uh, oh, a speed unit save gauge more. Okay, okay, so they do have effects. Okay, okay, so they... Power base, they burn through energy more, so less stamina. Speed, they're more, I guess, gauge preservant, I guess. Uh, do allow damage, but hit faster. Goku and them are probably balanced type. Yeah, for sure. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, and, but... I, okay, 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 good. That's good to know then. Again. Nappa would be like a power character, right? Like for sure. Whether it's this universe or another. He's a speed character. I'm always the fastest. Don't think I'm gonna follow your orders for the rest of my life. Size means nothing when you're as quick as me. Justice okay. prevails. Oh god, Topo. Evil erase. This rampaging monster must be taught a lesson. Come on, my you're a kid. Topo might unironically be fun to play. That's cool. My enemies. Oh shit. Well that's power for sure. Broly should probably be a how do they do Broly then? Because he's clearly pretty pretty fast. He's not faster than Gogeta, but he's pretty fucking fast still. But like, I don't know. Right, we'll see. Yeah, that move is kind of broken. I'm not gonna lie. Wait a minute. Yo, Kale charged that Broly, he just blew her away with his aura. Okay, good, that's good. My enemies die. Look at 
at that. Oh, that was Jace, actually. Get the fuck out of my face, Jace. Better wrap this up quickly. Don't think you can enter my crosshairs. Just... Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, then what do you do with Hit, then? And honestly, Hit's animation look like shit, by the way. Hopefully they fix that, too, but... Uh... This is good. I like that. Yeah, that's cool. That is so dog shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Don't think you can enter my crosshairs and just walk away. You cannot win. Isn't that wait, that's hit that's his move from fighters. Isn't it? Isn't that his finisher from fighters? Okay, well, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Um, I mean, there's still more time. And no release date yet, huh? Or no release time frame either. Well, okay. Well. We... Okay, it seems like they're really focusing on Super, which is fine, but you gotta have, like... You gotta have, like, again, you gotta have Cell, Kid Boo, Fat Boo, um, you know, you gotta have, like... You have to have Android 21. Yeah, no Jiren yet. No Jiren trailer yet. But, uh, you gotta have Android 21. Um... You gotta have, like, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, all those guys, like, you know? Sand? Get the fuck out of my face, Sandland. Okay, I mean, again, it was... The trailer, the gameplay, it was okay. It, it was definitely okay. Uh, I guess I'll keep my eyes peeled on the game. I'll keep I'll keep track of the game. Um, but I can't really say too much about it yet. Uh, I'm still not sold on it. So, we'll keep track of it. See, hopefully they explain more of the features and more of, like, the combat mechanics and systems for new players like myself, like potential new players like myself. Um, I don't want to have to fucking go back to like a 35-year-old game to get a reference for the game, you know what I mean? So uh, hopefully that's explained and covered soon. And I think they, I think, uh, and hopefully they do like an actual, like an in-depth gameplay fucking thing where they talk about, like where they literally sit down with, you know, like an actual stream rather than just like some whatever, you know? So, but, um, but yeah. Uh, uh Janimba, Cooler, Bo Yeah, I mean, yeah, you gotta have, like, those guys, like, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, you know, um, uh, all those fucking bozos, so. But yeah, I, okay, well, I'll be back, I think, most likely tomorrow. I'll keep you guys posted, and, um, uh, we'll probably do, I don't think, again, I'll see how I feel tomorrow, I don't think we're gonna do anything anime slash manga based, but I think I'm feeling kind of based, and we may do some, like, IRL based kind of reaction content or maybe not maybe we'll just end up doing we'll just read some manga or something I don't know we'll see but I'll I'll, I'll let you guys know tomorrow <laughs> elusive <laughs> you gotta have god killer Vegito and fucking Rykon and shit <laughs> uh, I'll catch you guys tomorrow